Have you ever imagined wild animals like crocodiles being friends with human beings? Remembering and recognize them for years? Ambu's life was quite normal, until the day he encountered one of the most unbelievable incidents of his life. One day, a fisherman named Ambu Dialton went out fishing. As it was part of his daily routine and his only source of income for the family, Ambu was the only earning member of his family. His family included his wife and a newborn son named Booty, for whom he worked very hard for. He wanted Booty to study instead of becoming a fisherman like him. For that, he sent Booty to school so he could get an education and do better in life. His house was not near the sea, but near the river, which was almost 10 to 15 minutes boating away from the sea, where he used to go fishing every morning. He used to pedal for a while until he reached the place. He went to the sea with his wooden boat and as always felt good about how the place made him feel. Ambo's day started with preparing the bait and the fishing line and going to the sea each morning. It was a good day and so peaceful near the sea. Ambo kept pedaling while enjoying the sight of the sunrise. It started on a beautiful sunny day, without the sight of any other fisherman to be seen, as he would like it to be. Quiet and peaceful, he had with him his boat and fishing net, ready for his day without any clue of the event that was about to happen. We will tell you a story about how this fisherman saved a crocodile's life and how it changed his future life events forever. This event happened in Bontang Island, where Ambu was from. That island later turned into a small city located in East Kalimantan, Indonesia. Ambu witnessed the change of the island into a city throughout his childhood till he grew up. He remembered how less populated it used to be when he used to go out with his father for boating. Mostly, it would be him with his father and nobody else to be seen. But now, big boats and more people were part of the sea too, whom Bongo would pass by sometimes. But the change of the place did not change the connection Ambo had with the island, as those big ships carried a variety of minerals from their island and the money was used for the island's development. They left the place with a lot of trash and plastics in the sea. On that fine morning, as Ambo reached the calm part of the sea along with his boat, he threw his fishing line and like every day, he waited for his catch. But before anything else could happen, he felt a big jolt with no clue about what actually was in the sea. He looked to his side and saw something big moving in the sea. He could not figure it out. Suddenly, before Ambo could react, the fishing line fell into the sea. Ambo wondered what kind of a big fish is powerful enough for a jolt like that. Even the boat he was on was moving side to side. Ambo tried his best to hold on and balance the boat. Ambu caught sight of a big strange shadow in the sea with no clue of what it was. But the waves on the water got bigger and the shadow appeared to get closer to the boat until Ambu could actually picture what the figure was of. To his surprise, he saw sharp teeth, strong enough to cut a human into pieces, big, wide and tall body, which seemed to be 20 feet or 1 meter long. He then recognized what he witnessed, it was a deadly crocodile, which Ambo had never seen in this part of the sea when he went fishing for his whole life. As crocodiles lived in the deeper part of the sea, it was his first time to see one, alone and so close. Ambo was still trying to get a hold of the situation when he saw the crocodile opening its mouth and closing it again and again. It seemed to him that the crocodile was struggling with something. Ambo looked closely and saw a plastic that was stuck in the crocodile's mouth, and the crocodile was trying his best to take it out of his mouth, but the plastic went deeper, and it seemed to Ambo that the crocodile was choking and struggling to breathe. Without giving it a second thought, Ambo jumped on top of the crocodile and tried his best to hold on to him tight. Although the crocodile had a lot of strength, but Ambo too had grown up strong because of the life he lived near the sea. They both struggled and wrestled in the sea, the crocodile was trying hard and spinning, making Ambu dip in and out of the sea before Ambu put his hand in the crocodile's mouth and took the plastic out of it. Ambu then kicked the crocodile hard and far enough to get back on his boat safely. But as Ambu was swimming back, he looked back to the crocodile staring at him. Then he got onto his boat safely. He saw the crocodile swimming back. Ambu was still processing whatever happened and was going back home. Ambo was still trying to digest all that happened on his way back, but to his surprise, as he was paddling back to his house, he caught sight of the crocodile following him and bumping into his ship. At first, Ambo did not know what to do. 
But as he kept looking and observing the crocodile, he felt that maybe the crocodile is just being playful. Ambo was clueless about what to do next, but the further Ambo was trying to get, the more the crocodile followed him. Then Ambo decided to throw some fish to the crocodile that he caught earlier that day. And he threw some fishes to the crocodile that he ate. Ambo was about to reach his home when his wife caught sight of him. She started shouting and asking Ambo to reach the shore as soon as possible because there was a crocodile following him behind. But when Ambo reached the shore, he told his wife not to worry. Then Ambo told her everything that happened, which too was unbelievable to her. The crocodile came to the shore and Ambo fed him with another fish and his wife was there, surprised to see that. After this, the crocodile swam away back to the sea. And no, the story doesn't end here. Years passed and one day out of nowhere, the crocodile appeared again. But Ambo was out of town with his son, they were on a fishing tour. His wife spotted the crocodile and called Ambo right away. She mentioned that the crocodile Ambo had an incident year ago was back. Until Ambo returned from his trip, the wife and the neighbors took care and fed the crocodile. The neighbors were also aware of the incident as Ambo had mentioned it to them. When Ambo came back, he went back to the same place where he had first seen the crocodile. He saw that it was all grown now to 23 feet or 7 meters. He fed the crocodile again and even named him Riska. Ambo so loved Riska that he used to visit him and feed him every day. And at the times when Riska felt sick, Ambo would call a vet. Although the vet was too scared to touch the crocodile, he would instruct Ambo on the medications. Ambo would do as guided by the vet. The bond was just not limited to Ambo. Even his son Budi was now friends with Riska and so were the neighbors. Even when Ambo was out of the city, Riska was loved and taken care of. Budi learned a lot from the story. Budi decided to become a politician when he grew up. He also decided to keep the sea plastic free by cleaning and picking up the plastic near the sea. Crocodile Riska always remembered the kindness of fisherman Ambo. The crocodile never forgot the fisherman and visited him on the riverbank to thank him for saving his life. For more than 20 years, the fisherman has met this crocodile friend on the riverbank and fed him. The crocodile gently picked up the bait, opened his jaws and happily accepted the offerings. The fisherman Ambo let his son and friends feed him while he was away. This was an amazing story of how this man saved the crocodile's life and how unexpected things happened years later. Thank you for watching and see you in the next video.